The find the odds and now being called a miracle. One of the children hit in a crosswalk in Pollock Pines back in May is now home with her family. Juniper, Juniper Ammons was one of five kids hit by a van while on a field trip crossing Pony Express Trail back in May. CBS 13's Brady Howblive spoke with her aunt about her long road to recovery. Uh, I think you're so cute. You want to say the road to recovery isn't easy, but it always starts with the first step. <laughs> and Juniper does it with a smile in a video taken from the hospital before being taken home. It was amazing. Um, she was excited. We had a whole countdown going on for the last, you know, 10 days. Juniper leaves the hospital after a tough fight, staying there nearly three months, starting at the ICU and then moving to Shriners Children's Hospital. She didn't have great odds. And so to be able to look back at that and now see her at home, it's it's beyond words on what we can say, how thankful we are. And that's one of the reasons why Allison, Juniper's aunt, calls her a miracle. <laughs> yep, we want to make sure we tell her that every day. Picking flowers and making wishes for others was something Juniper loved the most. The painful irony of a simple wish granted, but this time for her parents. Today, she's able to pick flowers once again. Cut it, okay? Trump, 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 Trump. Something normal that we did before that we were able to reintroduce to her, and um, she just, she's happy. Hey, baby girl. Juniper still has a long road ahead of her. She still needs help walking and needs to relearn a lot of things. Laura's so excited. She said, come get me, sister. But... She's in good hands with her family by her side and that same smile on her face. All in all, for what she's gone through, she's, again, a little ray of sunshine. Ah, we wish her nothing but the best in her recovery. Juniper is the last of the injured children to be released as a result of this accident from the hospital.